Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, my name is Maika and today is the first Sunday of the month so that means we're gonna be talking about some new makeup releases, yay! So these are all products that have been announced in the past month or so, uh, some of these will have already been released wh whereas others are about to be released and I'm filming this a few days in advance. Uh, usually I try to film it like the day before so that I have the newest of the new information for you, however I'm a little stuck uh, this weekend, so that's why I can't do that. So if I want to have this video up on Sunday, I need to film it a little bit in advance and very often makeup is announced on Fridays. So it could be that something might have been announced that you know of by the time this video goes up that I'm missing out on, but I will then mention it if I find it interesting enough to mention it in my next video, which will be up at the start of May. I only do these videos once a month because I don't want to talk about all the releases. I only want to talk about the things that stand out to me. So I definitely always make a bit of a selection. Um, and there's actually a palette that I forgot to mention in my last video, which I did at the start of March. So I thought we could include it here and then talk about some new stuff. Um, so I don't know how I missed it. I did save it, but for some reason I just didn't find it when I was filming that video. Um, but Adept Cosmetics came out with the Plain Jane palette at the end of 2020. And now they've released another stunning looking palette. The Nin... Ninhydrin, is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. But this retails for $68. And Adept is a brand that, like, I've, I've sort of heard of them, but... I don't know, I've never tried anything from them. I found them on Amazon at a certain point, but it was only Amazon US and it was incredibly expensive to ship it over here. So I don't think it's going to be one of those brands that I can very easily get a hold of, but this palette, it only has two mattes and everything else is shimmer. And I believe the Plain Jane was all shimmer, um, but this has some really stunning, what looks to be like multi chrome shimmery kind of shades. It's dark, it's grungy. I'm not sure if this is going to be like the thing I'm gonna try from them. I've, I would have to look into this. This is not like top priority list, but I do think it looks stunning. These are the kind of shades that I might like, um, but it really depends on the picture that I look at, whether I go like, ooh, like it and other pal uh, other pictures I'm like mm, not really so this is perhaps a product that later in the year if I have a space in my makeup budget I can budget for this and then see if I might want to purchase it but not anytime soon um, there are other palettes that I would like to get a lot more I've got quite a few Fenty Beauty products that have launched the uh, they came out with the blurring body tint now i don't really do body makeup so i don't really need this but um yeah i think that if if you're someone who would like to use something like this it can be nice uh however i'm much more into like their face stuff and stuff so yeah, i just want to point it out there not something that i need i mean they say pearl swirl light to light medium if it doesn't come in a pale shade I don't think it's going to work for me either, so... And to be quite honest, anything that's like too shimmery, I also don't really like. So I'm not someone who like uses highlighter on my collarbones or anything like that. Not up my... Not, not part of my makeup routine for sure. Um, then I just wanted to announce this, but I think you may have already noticed that Catrice has launched their new products for the spring-summer season. Their spring-summer 2021 collection has been released. I already filmed a video with it, so make sure to check out in the eye above. And this product that I'm showing you here is one of the new products, it's their Brow Fix, and I already reviewed it over my blog as well, so I'm like sure to link that in the description box down below so you can have a look. Um, but yeah, I'm currently trying out some of these products to see how much I like them, and reviews are going to go up on my blog first, and then I'll do a roundup of all the new Essence of Catrice products in I think June-ish, I think, when I've had some time to try them. Melt has come out with cream blushes, their cream blush lights. And to be quite fair, I, I'm now like sort of slowly getting into cream blush, which is not something I would have 
<laughs> I would have imagined a few years ago because I was all about the matte blush. But yeah, I'm currently really into a cream blush. However, I don't like, I look at the shades and I'm like, can I get like a dusty rose, please? <laughs> or like a hot red or a hot pink? Because those are the kind of shades that I like to go for. These are all like different shades of brown and peach. So it looks like they're going to be far too warm toned for what I like in a blush. And then I know I'm going to pass up on them. So if perhaps they would to would extend the shade range at some point and that it looks like something that I might be able to use because with my cool to neutral undertone, there are there's just nothing here that I feel would work on me. Maybe that bright corally shade, but I don't really like corals on myself all that often, so hmm. Um, someone actually left a comment on my previous video saying like, ooh, I'm super stoked about the Hindash release. But at that moment, the Hindash release had not been, like, had been announced, but we didn't know what product that he was going to come out with. Uh, apparently Hindash is a makeup artist who's quite famous. Uh, he does like some celebrity makeup as well. And he's now starting his own new makeup line. And the first release is a face palette. And the minute I saw this, I was like, if there is a product that I don't need in my life, it's a face palette with a bright orange toned red blush like kind of thing. Um, there are two powders or like some of the powders look to have a gradient in it. So you can sort of then mix and match. I'm pretty sure that's how it's intended to be used. And you know what? I think that's very clever to have that gradient in the powder. However, for me and my makeup tastes, this is not something I need. This is not something I would use often enough to really get the use out of it. This is a great product for a makeup artist. Like, I think if you're a makeup artist, this is the kind of thing you want because it's so easy to mix and match and to customize your shades with the shades that you get in this palette, whether it's within the same pen. However, a lot of this I know I wouldn't use. I'm not sure how multifunctional this is supposed to be. Oh, it says here that you can also use it as eyeshadow. Hmm. But yeah, for me, it would be more of a face palette. So I'm going to be passing up on this. Maybe if he decides to come out with some sort of lip product, I might like it because this is just, I don't know. I would, I just wouldn't get the use out of it, even though it looks pretty. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be super hyped up, but it's not for me. It doesn't go with my makeup aesthetic. Dior has come out with a uh, summer collection, is this? Yeah, this is their summer collection. So it comes with some eyeshadow, some highlighters, and lip products, and yada, yada, yada. Um, pretty sure, but I've sort of stepped away from buying any sort of limited edition makeup. Like some of it, I, I like, yeah, I want to get it, like the MAC blush that I told you about um, from the Black Cherry Blossom. That one, I was like, yes, that's right up my street. But with this... I don't know, it just, I like the tie-dye pattern, but this is again one of those things where it would just sit in my makeup collection, I would never use it because it's super expensive and if I, I'm afraid to ruin the pattern and all that, so no can do. Um, I do have to say though that in May, so not this month, but next month, I will be doing a full face of Dior for you. I found out that I only needed like two or three products to make it work for me to do an entire face of Dior. So I was like, that could be a fun video. So that's coming. I'm sort of currently preparing for it because buying those products, it's very expensive. So I sort of, I'm waiting for a sale <laughs> so that I can get like 25% off and then, then I might be able to pick up those products. All right. Um, then we have some nine pans that are new from Sigma. I'm not sure when these were, were, were announced because I, th I heard people already talking about these, but I hadn't seen the pictures yet. And these look okay. <laughs> once I, once I saw them, I was like, oh, um, there is one that looks pretty and rosy. That's for sure. So that I might like. But why is it all so warm toned? There is nothing that truly has a good cold tone. And the, the palette that for me would work the best, which is the palette with like the navies, but it's it's got warm tone browns. And I'm like, 
I know I won't use that. Like if those had, would have been more cool toned, I'd be, I'd be all over it. I would be all over it. But I'm like, I look at it and it's like, it's all warm. Just all of it, it's all warm or rosy. And I'm like, I already have a bunch of rosy tone palettes. And if I buy myself a rosy tone palette, it's going to be the Pat McGrath Divine Rose One. Uh, Essence, new collection. They came out with their Pink and Proud collection, which is a limited edition, which I'm like, yeah, I like the idea behind it. They're trying to promote diversity and pride and all that. So, you know, you do you, girl, that sort of thing, which I think is a good thing to do for Essence, but it comes with glitter lipstick. I'm like, eh, no. Um, and they have also come out with their new spring summer collection as well. In fact, Essence was first and then came Catrice. Again, I filmed a video with the new Essence products, which you can see up here. And that's another thing that I'm currently like trying and testing out so I can put the reviews up on my blog in the next couple of months and do a roundup for you once I've given everything a try. I think maybe two or three months down the line. So I'll lump all of those products together in one video as I normally do. Of course, what is a new makeup releases video without a bunch of ColourPop? They came out with a Lemoncello collection uh, with an eyeshadow palette with 12 shades. And I was like, why is this lemon themed if it only has two yellows and they're not even that bright? Like, can anybody explain this to me? I'm just, I don't get this. <laughs> I really don't. Like. I get the blue a little bit because it's like that summery vibe, I get it, but none of the products in this collection appeal to me, so I'm definitely skipping up on that one. Uh, then the most confusing eyeshadow palette release in a long time, Tarte came out with a new palette called the Sugar Rush, and like this layout, I don't know what they were thinking, but I, wow, wow, just wow. It's, it's like, are we trying to be little kids? Like I, I, I would buy something like this from a, like, or expect to buy something like this from a toy store for my four-year-old niece, because this looks like play date makeup. That's just the way I feel. <laughs> so this is, this is a no, this is a definite no. Um, NARS has come up with another limited edition collection. Like NARS should just start doing some permanent things, I think. Um, and they are simply redoing the thing they've always done. Next! <laughs> and then um, in at the end of this month, um, I already mentioned this in my previous video because it was already announced, but Give Me Glow Cosmetics is releasing a pastel palette at the end of April called the Pastel Dreams Palette. It's coming late April, it says. I don't have any other information about this, but it seems really pretty. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six mattes, and then also six shimmers that sort of correspond to the matte that you get in the palette. So I do think that's very clever. And pastel shimmers, I find pretty hard to find. So I have never purchased from Give Me Glow. I went on through their website the other day to check what happens if I put things in my shopping cart. And as I had expected, they don't charge a flat rate for shipping. They ship by weight, which is why it's so expensive to get stuff from them. Um, <laughs> I believe that just buying one single shadow would already amount to $20 in shipping fees. So I will have to try and see once this launches how much the shipping would actually be if I just get the one palette. Uh, so I'm definitely going to be looking out for this and see if I can pick it up. But I, this may also be one that I put on the wish list and buy later when it restocks. Um, because this is not a priority for me. In fact, I just bought two pastel palettes in the past like month. So I don't necessarily need to add this uh, to my collection by any means uh, anytime soon. So this is one that I may want to hold off, wait for some reviews to be out. Uh, that would be the smart thing for sure. And I think there's actually a new release that's going to happen around the same time, I think, that I think I want to get more. So then this is going to go onto the wish list for now, and then I'll get that other palette, but that's coming up in a minute. Can you guess what it is? Uh, Ed, uh, Game Beauty uh, came out with their fantasy palette, 
And this is a blue toned version, like they came out with a green toned one called the Adventure Palette, and now they have the Fantasy Palette, which is like blues, pinks, and a few like pastel shades. Very pretty. This may be a brand that I want to try. Again, not really up there on the to try list just yet, because their palettes do contain pressed glitters. That's the only reason why I'm not buying these straight away, but I want to see what this palette, what this brand comes out with first, and then I want to sort of like pick and choose from what they have to offer. So I think I'm going to wait for a few of their releases to be announced before I do decide whether I want to get anything from them. But this looks really pretty. Um, BH Cosmetics has come out with their Flower Power collection, and I looked at this and I was like, huh? I don't know, this palette just doesn't make any sense to me. It seems to be like pinks and purples with warm tone neutrals, and I'm like, but wasn't that hip and happening in 2018? And I can, I can see why it's called Flower Power, but if you're trying to do a 60s palette, it shouldn't have these colors if you're trying to theme it like the 60s, which is what they're trying to do. Like if you're going for flowers as inspiration, then I get it, because this is like a bouquet of flowers, color story-wise. But the 60s weren't about the pinks and the purples, I can tell you that much. It was like super light pale blues, <laughs> and like more like oranges and those, like they, the color palette was very, very different in the 60s. I have no, like I don't even understand why they, they call this flower power. It just doesn't make any sense. Then apparently there is a collab with WandaVision, like a Marvel makeup collection. Are we really going there as well? Like, I like Marvel. I'm a Marvel girl more so than a DC one. But, you know, I just lost track of the Marvel Universe about three three movies ago. Uh, I've watched most of them. But the new WandaVision... What's, what's the other guy's face? Like, where they are like a couple and it's like a TV series on Disney+. Plus. I haven't watched it. And I have no... I don't know why, but I, I just don't want to watch it. So, it's not, I don't know, just, they're not my characters, I just don't like it. Uh, then uh, there's a new cream blush, blush glow BB cheek colors from Perlis, Perlis, I'm not sure I pronounced that. These look really pretty, I thought they looked very nice, but I, I have no clue where I would buy this brand. Is this like an Ulta kind of thing? Um, I don't know where I would have to try and find these, so this is one of those... US only brands that you don't have anywhere in Europe, I'm sure. I've never heard of this brand before. Um, of course, more ColourPop, Lizzie McGuire. I know a lot of people are going crazy for this palette because like, ooh, Lizzie McGuire. And I'm like, I was too old by the time Lizzie McGuire was a thing. So I definitely missed the boat on that one. We're now getting into like fandoms and, 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 and like, intellectual properties that I have no, no link to. Like, that's where we're getting to. I was too old for this, so this this is not gonna go onto the wish list, that's for sure. And as predicted, Zoeva is coming out with some new stuff. Uh, Zoeva discontinued a lot of their products in 2020, and I was hoping that it was not because the brand was going defunct, but because they were gonna replace it with other stuff. And they now have come out with their Together We Shine collection, which includes an eyeshadow palette, a travel-sized palette, and a face palette. And I believe, I believe the intention of these products is that they are universally flattering on all skin tones. I believe that is the idea of the entire collection. I'm not entirely sure, but that's the information that I believe I read somewhere, that that's sort of their intention that this can be neutral palettes for everyone, which I think is clever. Um, however, I do think it looks perhaps, mm, I'm not sure, a little bland perhaps, but it could be one of those things where I'm like, I end up buying it in the end just because I like Zoeva so much as a brand and I would like to try it. I mean, it does seem to have some really pretty rosy toes and, tones and perhaps a bit of a taupe, taupiness as well. So again, I would want to see good swatches of this before I decide to buy it. Pat McGrath is coming out with some like little kits. These have already released, I believe. Uh, I've already seen these all over her Instagram. Uh, one comes with a lipstick. 
a glitter and a gloss and the other comes with a pigment an eye gloss and an eye pencil and especially the the blue one that comes with the eye gloss it's called a holographic gloss multi-dimensional so maybe you're supposed to be able to use it in different ways but it comes in a pot and i've used i've seen them use this on the instagram page the pat mcgrath instagram page as an eye gloss and there's one product i don't need in my life it's an eye gloss like i'm not a makeup artist i don't do editorial makeup like this is about as editorial as we get so this is this is this is this if i were to buy this it would be for my fantasy self rather than who i actually am as a person so no pat i like the idea i'm sure i could come up with something creative here and the, the blue of that pigment looks gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but no not for me <laughs> you need to know your limits you know <laughs> Um, then Glow Recipe has come out with the Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum and I have yet to try my Glow Recipe products that I bought in January. I bought a set of minis, but Glow Recipe is definitely a brand that's now on my radar. If I end up liking a lot of the things that are going on in that kit, I may want to end up buying this because I do like a good ceramide kind of product and uh, because it's very hydrating on the skin. So this sounds like something my skin is going to love. I just need to make sure that I like Glow Recipe as a brand. I told you we, we would be getting more Fenty here and a product I'm super interested in is the Blurring Skin Tint. E the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. And I'm not sure how hydrating this is supposed to be or whether it's supposed to be matte but a quick blur complex for a hydrating diffused effect smooth textures that layers well with primer and skincare applies well well with a finger or a brush but it's also humidity sweat and transfer resistant i think that this can be a really really good launch it seems to come in a bunch of different shades 25 of them to be exact and i'm like fenty I'm down because I like these really watery, thin formulas that are very hydrating, especially in the summertime. So this is one where I'm like, yes, I don't need the coverage necessarily, like I don't need high coverage. Uh, so light to medium is all I need, which is what this is. I think that this is the kind of product that has my name all written all over it. I just bought some new foundations to try though at the start of the year. So I have like three or four that I still need to test out. So I definitely don't need this yet, but this is definitely one where if I want to buy some more Fenty products, I'm definitely going to pick up a shade of this because this is right up my street. Clarity Cosmetics is coming out with the, what's this called? The Mermazing, So Mermazing eyeshadow palette. And these colors look so pretty. It's like pinks and greens, and it's sort of like pastel leaning, but there's also seem to be some good shimmers with a bit of a shift. This is one that, again, I really like. However, I'm not sure how to buy from Clarity Cosmetics. I've only ever seen US influencers talking about them. I'm not sure if they're available in Europe. I don't know if they ship to my country. I have no clue. So this light Give Me Glow is something I would have to look into a little bit more and also Adept Cosmetics. But yeah, I think this is not going to go onto the wish list like the Adept one, but this is one of those palettes that I'm sort of like going to archive. And if I hear lots of people talking about it, how great it is, because these swatches look really stunning. I think I might be really down with this palette, but I don't know. Pretty color story, but... I may actually have other palettes that can do the same thing. So not sure I need it, but yeah, this is definitely one that's sort of like going in, into the into the brain space of like makeup to possibly get at some point, you know? Jeevious Place has come out with a eyeshadow primer, which is cool, but it, I think it's got a really strong base to it. And I mentioned this in a recent video, I like to separate like the base to stick shadow down and the one that covers my lid. Um, I, I like separating those because my eyes 
just crease really, really badly if I don't. So um, if this has a really good strong hold, then I might like it. I've never tried any base products from Juvia's Place though, so maybe this is a good one to start with. So this is one of those products that if I end up ordering from Juvia, so I might just chuck it into my cart if it's in stock, but it's not a product I'm going to like run out and buy, that's for sure. Would like to try, don't need to. One that I am pretty excited for is the new Huda Beauty launch. Like with every one of their mini palettes, there are going to be three new mini palettes with different brown tones in them. So we've got chocolate brown, toffee brown, and caramel brown. Can you guess which one I would like to get? The chocolate brown actually is the one that if I would buy from any of these, I would go for that one. Again, this is one like the Clarity, like the Adept, to go sort of like on the mental wish list. I very often don't shop for Huda Beauty palettes unless it's like a Black Friday sale. So, because then I can get like a bit of money off because I find them a little bit expensive at full price. Um, but yeah, that chocolate brown one, it seems to have some like reddish tones, but more like rosy red leaning. And then some cooler tones as well. At least that's what it looks like on the swatch. And if I look at the swatches on the palest skin, which is what I need to look for, that's the one that I feel really blends with the cool tone of that skin tone. So for me, the toffee one, even though it's more yellow leaning and I do like a good mustard yellow, um, it, I feel that that's not very unique to what I already have going on in my makeup collection and I don't need something as orange toned and the, as the caramel, I know I won't wear it. <laughs> but that chocolate brown one, Yes, and I think a good rich brown eyeshadow palette. I don't currently have that, so uh, I think this could be a nice one. Um, but yeah, that's that's the one. I'm not sure if it's intended for paler skin tones, but it's the one that really sort of, I saw it and it was like, that That was what my eye was draw, drawn to immediately. So yeah, again, this is gonna go onto the long-term wish list of potential, but it's not a necessary for me to grab right now kind of palette. Color Rain has come up with new bronzers. I'm still not sure whether these are creams or not. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are bronzers for about every single skin, skin tone you could think of. And I think that's really cleverly done. I think this is a good launch. I haven't bought any Color Rain in a while. Are they still on Beauty Bay? Because that's where I bought my Queen of Hearts palette from. Um, if this comes to Beauty Bay, I might at some point uh, pick it up, but I've got plenty of bronzers anyways, so I don't really need this. Um, but yeah, this is a, a, one of those products where I'm like, yeah, at some point in time, if this gets rave reviews, I would definitely want to try it. All right, and then next up, I'm not sure yet what this launch is going to be, but Lethal Cosmetics is very soon going to be launching something, something they call Glitch. I don't know. And Lethal Cosmetics is one of those brands. I definitely want to fill up another one of their eyeshadow palettes with some shadows. I almost bought some, I almost did, uh, but I decided to actually buy uh, the restock from Alien Cosmetics. Uh, they are restocking both their Fairy Frolic and their Serendipity palette. And I saw that and I was like, yeah, I wanted to try some more Inby makeup this, this year. And I was like, yes, I can buy those Alien Cosmetics palettes. Uh, so I decided to buy that for my April sort of <laughs> for my April buy rather than um, any new Lethal Cosmetics medic singles. But I know I'm going to be filling up one of those palettes, I think sometime, sometime in the next couple of months, I'm going to buy one of those for sure. Then Ofra Cosmetics has come out with a new collab with Samantha March. Everybody's all over this thing and I looked at it and I was like, well, that's something I don't need in my life because I don't like palettes that have face products and eyeshadow products in one palette. Just not my cup of tea. It's rosy tone plums, which, I mean, if you watch Samantha March, you can definitely, her name is written all over this collection, that's for sure. It's very her, but it's not very me. So for me, no, this is not something I need. Perhaps if that highlighter is, like, is that a single? I'm not sure which highlighter you get in here, but if that's a new shade or if that's an existing shade that looks like a highlighter I might like. But again, I've got plenty of highlighters to come by. I don't need this, I really don't. So for me, 
this is one where I was like, oh, such a shame because one of the things I loved about her first collab was the fact that all of the products, like the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight were separate things that you could buy. And I just, I just would have liked this to be an eyeshadow palette and then three separate face products. Something this big and bulky I will never, ever use. I thought this would be fun to mention. Disney is doing a collab with Spectrum Brushes and they're doing an Alice in Wonderland collection, which I think is so cute, but I just did a brush declutter. I don't need any more brushes uh, because I've got the ones I need, so <laughs> no can do. Um, so, uh, what, when, what's this again? Milani is going to come out with a new eyeshadow palette and some eyeshadow sticks. Uh, some other new things, the Gone Glamping Collection. And the palette is called the Gilded Getaway. And I think this is cute. It's shaped like a car. It's warm tones with greens. And I'm like, mm, this is not my color story, but I like the idea. But if you would like to know what I think of some Milani products, then stay tuned this month. Because in April, my full face makeup, uh, uh, like my full face of X brand video is going to be all about Milani. So we're going to be talking about Milani a lot this month on my channel. Then Patrick Ta is coming out with bronzers. So he already has his blushes that have a cream and a powder. And now he's doing that for bronzer as well. And the only reason why I don't own any Patrick Ta blushes because they look gorgeous. Every single one of them that I've seen on people being used, I love them. But it's got a cream and it's got a powder in one compact. And I'm like, mm, I don't, <laughs> just, I, I don't like that concept. Yes, I know there's a little like plastic flap to close it off. I know, I know. I just, I don't know. I, for me, it just, in my brain, it just doesn't work. So I'm going to pass up on these for now. But yeah, Patrick Ta is a brand where I'm like, yeah, I would like to try that a bit more. But I, I really don't need this. It's like, again, like the Hindash palette, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, if you're a makeup artist, I can see why this will work for you. But I don't need a cream and a powder. And I'm not someone who's into contouring because my I just feel that it doesn't really suit my face. Usually if I contour, my, my face becomes even more narrow than, it's already, than it already is. So I would have to contour differently. I, I know you can do that. <laughs> it's just that I feel I just don't need it for the daily. Another product for my fantasy self rather than my real self would be the Fancy Beauty Gloss Balm Dip. So they're now coming up with a lip gloss in a pot. And I'm like, wait, and you're supposed to be able to like clip it onto something so that, you know, if you're going somewhere, you can like clip it onto your jeans and then I don't know, like that would melt, it would get messy, and then I need to stick my finger in there too. I'm grossed out by the idea. This is not a product I'm interested in. So that's that's one Fenty product that we're not gonna get, but that foundation, that's something I'm gonna like. Then, did you guess it correctly? We're coming up to the product that I, I know I'm going to get. I'm not sure yet when this is going to launch, I haven't even seen pictures of the inside of this palette, like it really being revealed. I've only like seen a peek, but Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a cool toned eyeshadow palette. It's called the Mary Jane Collection. You know how I feel about cool tones. And it seems to come with, is it 12? I think it's 12 pans. It's like, a, like Merte sized, I think. And I'm not sure if, even if this is going to be limited edition or not. But wow, if they're coming out with a cool tone palette, if this truly is as cool toned as it looks in these pictures of what I've seen so far, I mean, I'm pretty sure by the time this video goes live that it will have been fully revealed. But as I'm filming this video, I've only been able to like sneak a peek in like, like just half open, but it looks cool toned. You know how much I love cool tones. In fact, I've saved up almost all of my cool tone palettes that I got over the Black Friday period. And I think this month and possibly part of next month, 
it's going to be cool toned heaven because I still have my stone cold fox to play with, my lunar beauty eternal eclipse, uh, my Nabla side by side that has some stunning cool tones as well. So I'm really looking forward to these eyeshadow palettes that I have yet to play with. And this, this is one where if it launches and it comes to Beauty Bay, it instant buy, like instantly. I'm gonna be on top of it. I'm not gonna order it through the Meld website because that's super expensive. I've once or twice placed an order with Meld directly on their website, but A, the shipping to Europe is outrageously expensive and I have to pay customs. So I'm gonna wait until it comes to Beauty Bay and then I'm going to set my alarm and snatch it up straight away. That's for sure. I don't even know what this palette looks like, but that's how stoked I am for that one. <laughs> so yeah, this is why the Give Me Glow Pastel Dreams palette is going to be put on the back burner because I, I think that this is going to be released quite quickly. With Melt, usually like they announce something and like within a week or two you can buy it. So this is one that I know I want to snatch up straight away. Then we have the new April palette from BH Cosmetics. So they're doing this gem co stone collection all year. And this is their diamond palette for April. And I look at those really stunning silvery shades and I'm like, ooh, great. And then I'm like, why did you have to go and ruin it with a, with a, with like peachy tones? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Because it's got four really, really stunning cool tone shades. I guess it's got a pressed glitter too. But then two of the shades are really strange peach tones that I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like if they were reddish tones, I might have liked it, but this, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with that? So a bit of a fail for me. So far, none of these gemstone palettes have really appealed to me. And then finally, last but not least, we have Stila. They have just launched a Camouflage Beauty eyeshadow palette. And this is peaches, seems to have like a taupey shade, and then also some like green tones. This is actually quite interesting. I haven't heard from Stila in a while though. Has anybody bought from Stila any, like since they came out with those like glittery eyeshadow toppers that everybody was going gaga for that dried out really quickly on everyone? Except for me, because mine are still fine. Um, yeah, this looks pretty interesting, again. Those two peachy tones though. <sighs> I wish I, I, I got another green, you know, instead of that orangey shade, that should have been a green because we essentially get like two greens. <sighs> I wish, I wish people would not insist on putting so many warm tones in palettes and that, you know, because cool tones don't have to be boring and just grays. It can make cool tones green toned and then it would work on a lot more people. I wish brands would get that. But, so yeah, I, do, I think I'm gonna hold off on this. If it's going to cause a really raving storm in YouTube beauty land, and I might end up picking it up at some point in time, but this is not a must have. Yeah, that's it for me for today. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know in a comment down below what makeup release you are really excited for. Are you like me, super stoked for that Mary Jane palette from Melt? Or are you like, hmm, I'm not too sure about it. Who knows? And yeah, then um, we're gonna chat very, very soon. I've got more content coming your way with three videos a week. So I hope you would like to join me in one of those and then I'd like to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.